so what is going on you guys i am back here for another video today and i'm going to be talking about one of the most profitable movies of all time it had a bunch of three hundred thousand dollars and it grossed around 70 million dollars and that is halloween and the movie opens up on Michael Myers being six years old on a Halloween night in 1963. He murders his sister Judith Myers and is sentenced and locked away for 15 years in a mentally insane asylum. 15 years down the road on October 30th of 1978, Michael Myers escapes and he returns to his hometown of Haddonfield in Illinois, where he starts killing people off one by one by one. This movie was just so iconic on so much parts especially with the iconic score composed by John Carpenter. Probably my favorite score out of any horror movie, out of any movie in history. But this film was just brilliant. It reshaped the whole horror genre for years to come, even nowadays. Films nowadays um, are still paying homage to this er original Halloween film. A good example in particular, It Follows, which came out recently in the past couple years, and it's feels like a Halloween movie. That is because in a lot of ways they did pay homage to this Halloween movie. And this movie was so iconic. Um, after Halloween uh, 3, which wasn't uh, Michael Myers at all, fans were kind of demanding that they wanted more Michael Myers. Like um, John Carpenter and Deborah Hill, the, um, they were part of Halloween 1 and 2. Um, they thought it would be good for to make the Halloween franchise more of an anthology series of different stuff revolving around Halloween time. But fans were really happy with that and they just wanted this guy. They listened to the fans and we got plenty of more Michael Myers over the years. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about when I first saw this movie for my very first time. And I was about maybe in seventh grade and um, I was sleeping over at my cousin's house and I was sort of a horror fan at the time. I wasn't a big one like I am now, but um, I've always been interested in watching Halloween, but I never actually seen it. And not even lying, the first time I watched this movie, I just got so invested in the franchise. I was actually looking up after I watched the film of, um, I don't know what it is, On Demand and um, looking at the other free Halloween movies to watch. and. Of course, it was kind of the crappier ones like um, Halloween Resurrection and Halloween 5 or 6 and, or something like that. Just kind of the worser ones out of the films. But I, I didn't care. I just wanted to see more of this guy. I'm just a huge Michael Myers fan in general. Every Halloween, I want to curl up in a ball, get some popcorn, go under the covers, and watch Halloween. Every single Halloween. It's just such a good feeling of watching it. Now in this video, I kind of wanted to talk about three people in general. That's kind of like the three main stars out of the whole franchise. And that is Michael Myers, Laurie Strode played by Jamie Lee Curtis, and Dr. Samuel Loomis played by Donald Pleasance. And let's first talk about Jamie Lee's performance as Laurie Strode. This is the movie when I fell in love with her. I, I watched tons of Jamie Lee Curtis movies after this one. I fell in love with her. I thought her acting was pretty good, although that she doesn't really agree that it was a good performance. Tons of fans praised her. John Carpenter praised her for this movie, and she's, like I said earlier, she has such a believable performance in this movie. She is so great. Now we have another character of uh, Dr. Samuel Lewis, played by Donald Pleasance, and this guy, he's just so suburb. In my opinion, he's probably the best actor in this film, and I don't really think it's too much of a debate, but the way he just speaks about Michael Myers and how evil this character actually is, it's just breathtaking. Every time there's so much iconic scenes with him talking about Michael Myers, I get goosebumps. Because although we don't really see the scenes of um, Michael Myers in the insane mentally institution with Donald Pleasance, we just feel the presence that Donald Pleasance has a connection with this character of Michael Myers and he knows how evil he is. Donald Pleasance was just fantastic in this. And last but not least, we have the main star himself, this guy, Michael frickin' Myers. Of course, Michael was played by different actors around the movies over the years, but this guy, he's one of the reasons why I love slasher movies. Well, with the camera work especially, how Michael Myers will be in the background of a camera shot and you'll 
just see his presence and you'll feel like you'll get so much goosebumps you'll get so scared just by feeling the presence even if his character is just like in a little corner of the shot you're like oh shit there's michael and one of the best things about this is he doesn't even really have much to motivation he's just like this mentally ill guy and it's just awesome michael myers is my favorite slasher i guess if you want to call a villain of all time and it kind of shows in this film of why he is the only kind of bad things in this film is laurie strode's friends but and their acting wasn't really that good annie kind of mainly because she's just kind of like really cringy in a way yeah it's still entertaining but their performances are just kind of not really too good Although their performances weren't the greatest, it's kind of easy to overlook because of how great this movie is as a whole. But guys, in the end, Halloween's a fun movie, it's a chilling movie, it's a horror movie, it's a movie that I watch every single year, kind of two or three times, I'm not gonna lie, I love this film. And with all that said, I'm going to be giving Halloween an A. So Halloween, this is probably, I didn't really make a list, but probably my favorite horror film of all time. And it's honestly up there my favorite film of all time too i just adore this movie it's so incredible and guys leading up to the 2018 halloween movie with the return of jamie lee curtis i will probably be reviewing other halloween movies in this series so stay tuned for that guys and one more thing before we go drop your comments down below of what you guys think about the halloween original film the other movies and the franchises Michael Myers' character, Jamie Lee's character, Donald Pleasance's character, anything that you guys want to talk about, drop your comments down below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So that way, you can see me next time. Thanks for watching.